This episode is about when we almost gave up living on a boat. If we had an inner crazy horse, this would have been the time it would have used its horse powers trying to abandon our vessel, Yamaya. But more about that later. In the previous episode, we found out that our battery bank needed to be changed. So we sailed from Grenada to Martinique since the batteries were much cheaper there. A great place in the Caribbean if you need to fix stuff on the boat. But we weren't super excited to be back since La Marine awoke some bad memories from the last time. We have lost trust in our anchor. You have uh, a lot of water. A lot, a lot, a lot, you see? A lot of water. A lot, a lot, a lot, you see? Oh, it's water. Then things just started to go bad all at the same time. It was pouring down rain which continued for days and that revealed a lot of leaks and things started to mold. Our dinghy that had been leaking air for a long time was getting worse and the patches on the patches didn't hold any longer. Then poor little Leo got the chicken pox, our mic stopped working and some other minor things. So when Chris went away and Leo and I stayed on the boat, let's just say I was longing for a life on land instead. But then Leo got better and while Chris did the tough job of trying to fix the boat during the days, I was out with Leo finding kids for him to play with. And at night I worked with my freelancing in graphic design. We tried keeping up the spirit because we knew it would be better soon again. But then we discovered that the chain plates looked like this. We did a post on Instagram and sent a bunch of emails to some people asking how bad it was and what we could do about it. We got a lot of different answers and that inner crazy horse was almost ready to abandon ship. But we realized turning into a crazy horse wouldn't solve much. Maybe give us a laugh and look at the situation with some perspective. It felt so tough though at this moment because we didn't know if we would be able to take Yamaya to the South Pacific as we dreamed of. What really helped us in this situation was you. Yeah, you are amazing followers and patrons. I mean, wow, the answers and the help we received was just amazing. There are some people that really reached out a hand to us during this time and helped us a lot. I'm pretty sure you know who you are. We have thanked you many times already, but we want to thank you over and over again. In a moment we felt it was maybe time to sell the boat and go back home. You helped us keep moving forward. So we decided to change the chain plates and so that we could trust our rigging again and decided to take everything one day at a time. And also have a break with our videos because we simply didn't have the energy or time needed. Then life got slowly better. Yamaya got upgraded with our very own SUP, which was absolutely amazing, and we could now more easily leave the boat. We got reunited with our friends from the boat Leonora. Then Chris helped me sacrifice some hair to the weather gods before sailing onwards to Dominica. I like it. Well, you haven't seen yourself in the mirror yet. Yeah, I haven't seen myself in the mirror. Mm. Ha, ha, ha. You like your new wife, Chris? <laughs> it was a huge relief when we finally left Le Marin. We started calling it Hotel California. You can check in any time you like, but you can never leave. It was tough. But if it's one thing I tried to remember during this time, it was that how tough it may feel sometimes. The most important stuff is to have your health and to be together with the ones you love the most. And that if you have patience, there will be rewards, big and small. Such as a tasty avocado, for example. It's ready for the food. When we arrived in Dominica, we finally decided to leave the boat for a whole day and to go on a sightseeing tour around the island. Let's go. 
Good morning. Thank you. Baby, the baby, you can come up front. Yeah, yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Locals with a little local chain. Right. You can make a necklace, an earring. Oh, oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, these are called Job's Tears. In Creole, we say uh, ganjo. There is golden apple and there is sugar apple. You know sugar apple? Yeah. Alright, so we use it as a juice and everything. And right here we have the leaves and ingest a substance it helps with dairy. It's so rich that nothing can quite grow here. No. Yeah. So your trip is almost free. Almost. Oh, almost. <laughs> <laughs> It felt so good to get off the boat for a whole day. Towards the end of the sightseeing, we just focused on being in the moment though and stopped filming so much. So, you guys know that we've been stuck in uh, Martinique for a while now. And uh, we just left. We're in Dominica now. And we're so happy. We did a lot of boat work. We fixed the chain plates, or we changed the chain plates, we changed the batteries, we got a loads of stuff done on the boat, but it felt horrible to be back in Le Marin and being stuck there. So we're just super happy to be out. So today we're gonna celebrate, have some uh, yeah, sparkling wine, and we have uh, some nice food, which is gonna be awesome. And we've been on a sightseeing tour today. And we went on a sightseeing tour today. We were a proper tourist today. So we're super happy to be out of Le Marin. And uh, thank you, Dominica. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.